Well, another day, another dollar, as they say. Sky's looking pretty good. Just done my pre-checks, just checked the tires, the lights. This is a generator which seemingly is an urgent delivery. I think it's a reconditioned one. Ah, powerful. I mean, the Americans do everything in large scale. But that's quite a beefy generator. The only thing I'm... Obviously... <laughs> the aerodynamic issue that we've got. Yeah. It's going to be like a wall. Driving a, a huge wall in towards the... Uh, the direction we're going. So we're all lined up, we're all ready to go. I've already done the hug check. If you missed that in the last one, it's where you connect it up, connect the trailer up, keep the trailer brake on, release the parking brake on the truck and then try and pull forward. If it tugs, it means the fifth wheel's connected into the, or the kingpin's connected into the fifth wheel. I think it was meant to be taking that generator there, but there's become an issue with it. So there was a couple of phone calls between the supervisor in the building there and the customer. Let get going. I've done a couple of other trips uh, offline because they're basically going to the same place that I've been to already. The only thing I don't like about the Freightliner, this 10 speed gearbox, just it, it, it's indecisive about which gear it wants to be in until it gets going and then it's fine. But uh, until then, it just it chooses one, yeah. then it stops, then it chooses another one. I do like their uh, lamp posts. Lamp posts are beautiful around here. Trailer strapping's all good. Um, yeah, so I've done a couple of loads. They were going to the same places as before. So I didn't think uh, there was much entertainment value in it. So. Hence why. This load we're taking is quite interesting, and it's going to, I think it's McAllister it's called, a town that's east of Oklahoma, just a couple of hundred miles. So I had an issue with this truck this morning, it was, uh, it was low in air, I had to sit for ages to let the air build up in the system before I could actually get moving again. I'm fueled up, I've had my coffee, I'm uh, feeling quite good this morning, quite optimistic. Um, when I picked the truck up this morning, everyone was in quite a good mood in the office and having a laugh. I tend to find that if, if people are in a good mood, it kind of picks you up a little bit as well. I have to admit that sometimes I do get a little bit homesick missing the, the UK, more specifically missing Scotland and the uh, beautiful scenery, but I came here, came here to make something of myself, living the American dream in quotes. I'm not really sure what the American dream is uh, anymore, not where the state things are, but I'm here, I'm doing it, and you know, there's a lot of people say that um, near the end of your life, the things that you reflect on are the things you haven't done, so the, the regrets you have are the things you haven't done rather than the things you have done. And I guess that's kind of the way of it, that, you know, the things you've done, you know what the outcome was, whereas the things you haven't done, you don't know what was going to happen. Something else that I uh, did want to talk about, and it's something that was started. I don't know. I don't know if 
the first time I was aware of this was in the UK and it's a hashtag called hashtag answer in percentage so if you ask someone how they're doing normally they'll say yeah I'm doing okay or I'm doing fine or I'm doing good um, it, those are just words it, that doesn't tell you how they are, are actually feeling so answer in a percentage as literally as it says you answer in a percentage so today I'm probably I would say a 68% um, the way I'm feeling today um, I do suffer now I don't want to go is it this left I want to go oh man I think I've messed up no it's the next left phew um, yeah, so, I mean, like most people, you know, I suffer from depression, suffer from low moods, things like that. You can be in a good mood one minute and then, uh, it's not, it's not even this one, is it? Yeah, it is this one. And most people suffer from the same thing, but... A lot of people think it's just them, it's just how they're feeling and no one else is really feeling that bad. And as human beings we're very very good at hiding and masking how we actually feel. So a percentage takes the pressure off a little bit and it gives the person who's asking you, because they're asking you for a reason, they're asking you because they care. Um, Come on, girl. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. Um, so, yeah. You know, there's a, you know, a percentage is, is just that. You know, you don't need to say, oh, I'm feeling really bad. But if you said you were at uh, 25%, somebody knows instantly you're not feeling great today. You're not in a, a great mood. So, if you're watching this video, I really would love now that... The, there's been other vloggers who, who do the same thing and it's a fantastic thing because I think it opens up the conversation about depression, opens up conversation about how you actually feel. Now, I'm just a voice on the internet, you know, um, at the end of the day. Whoa, went a bit fast. Don't want to wreck this generator already. Um, but I'm asking you because I do care. I care about anyone and everyone who watches these videos and as much as it's role play videos there's nothing stopping me from asking you the question so I'm going to ask you the question and I want you to put an honest percentage into the comments so how are you doing today or tonight or this afternoon whenever time you're watching this how are you doing how are you feeling and give me a percentage below. And it's also a hint that people are actually watching the video rather than watching the start and watching the end and skipping in between. Um, so I thank you. If you are watching this video all the way through, thank you so much. Um, but drop me a percentage. As I say, I'm about a... Uh, what did I say it was? I thought it was going to be a 6 by 6 to 8%. Um, so for me, that's good. I mean, that's no... I, I, would you ever find someone with 100%? Maybe if they bought a house or, you know, they got the, the dream job they wanted. Yeah, absolutely. Percentage is is yours, you know, it, it's yours to own either way. But it would be good to find out how you are doing. So we're going to get onto the freeway. get going. Oh, do you know what I just realised? That's a Hercules. US Air Force. Wow, that is mighty impressive. That is a beautiful sight to see. Look at that. Wow. Vintage aircraft right there. Oh, 
it's an actual a military airport? No, I don't think it is. Or maybe it was. Okay, we're going to uh, get heading, get this delivered now. I don't know if I have a load coming back yet. As I say, normally what I do is I'll contact Mark, the transport manager, um, and find out from him if there's anything else to be done. But, um, see, that's pretty good. A minimum speed of 60 miles per hour. some rain clouds looking so and um, they also gave me now I haven't had this before but they gave me a, a works mobile which is interesting and it's to do with the it's an iPhone it's a basic iPhone but it's basically just for calls and texts and things like that and um, do route guidance on it as well. What they said was is keep it on you at all times. If you need to get out of the truck, take it with you. Because God forbid if something happens, they can use track my iPhone or find my iPhone or whatever it is. I am I'm an Android user, so you'll need to forgive me if I've just butchered. Um so yeah, so find my iPhone I think it's called. Um but it means they can track where you are. So if they don't hear from you for a while, or the truck stays stationary, and remember I said in the last episode, these trucks are GPS tracked. So they can tell if I stop, how long I stop for, where I've stopped, and um, they can tell the speeds that I'm travelling at. They can... They can tell that I think I don't I don't know this for certain, but I'm sure there's an alarm that goes off if I deviate from the route that they've told me to take. Um, and the reason they tell me to take a particular route, or the route is in the sat nav of a route they want me to take, is to avoid either roadworks or to avoid a small roads or you know anything that might can hamper my progress. Oh my goodness, what are we doing here? Wow, what? That was an emergency stop if ever I saw one. Right dude, come on then. Right, well we're not going that way. Why would you not put cones further back? That is utterly horrendous. I feel tempted to stop and ask him if... Oh! I don't know what's going on there. Um, yeah. I was... Oh, how... How much... What? Look at the sat nav. So it's basically trying to take me down the same route I just tried, is it not? That's the road I need to be on over there. So hopefully if I get onto this road, I can get turned around. And get back along that road. Because I can't go back up over again because I've just ended up straight back at the same spot again. Hmm, interesting. Well, there you go, there's a bit of an example. Let's see what happens. Oh. I think this is the boss. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, thanks. I'm okay, I'm just, uh, there was an accident on the uh, off-ramp that I was meant to take, so I'm having to do a, a detour to try and get back onto the route that I'm on. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, cool. That's awesome. I'll do that. Cool. Okay, catch you later. Okay, sorry about that. That was a whole thing going there, and uh, as you can see, I'm in the middle of a construction site, so yeah, I kind of stopped the footage because uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I got a little bit flustered. I uh, wasn't sure where I was going. The sat nav was taking me all kinds of different directions, but uh, hopefully this is us on the road we should have turned down onto when uh, that accident was on the the off ramp. So let's get us dialed back up. That's Mark. Hello. Hi, Mac. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Sorry, the uh, there was an accident in the off ramp, so I couldn't I couldn't come down it. So I had to go to the next junction, come off, and then I've had to go all, all the way down another freeway to turn to come back along. But that should be me on track now, hopefully. I think I have a load coming back to Oklahoma once you've dropped that trailer off. Give me a call when you're offloaded and I'll give you the details. Alright, okay, cool. Yep, I'll do that. Uh, I shouldn't be too far away from McAllister. I'll, uh, as soon as I get unhitched, I'll give you a call. Okay, give me a call and I'll get you hooked up. Cool, thank you very much. Thanks, Mark. See what I mean? As soon as, as, soon as I didn't go down the route Oh, I thought that was a crash. I genuinely thought that truck had crashed just the way it stopped. Wow. Like my, I'm going to say like my whole anxiety level is up through the roof just now because this has put me all kinds of wrong. So it has. On the other hand, look at that tree. It's like only other different colored tree. That's stunning. Right, let's get this uh, there. So you heard, obviously, that conversation. So uh, Mark was on Bluetooth. But uh, looks like we have another load to go back. That's pretty good. Awesome. On just now. Oh man, now that's an example of what happens if you don't have your load strapped down properly or check your load. So one of the drivers, the uh, I think it was the second driver who put me out on my second day, he said you should stop every couple of hours, one just to get a break, but two to also check the load and make sure that it's still secure because the straps and the wind can loosen over time and that's one way of making sure that they, they stay tight you can just ratchet them up a little bit gas and food yeah. I'm not too bad, I've had breakfast, I've had my coffee I feel pretty pretty good, my anxiety levels are starting to calm down again um, that was, it just takes one thing to knock you off and then all of a sudden everything starts becoming chaos. I try my best not to uh, let it bother me too much, but there are times it does. Like anyone, we're human. Not liking the look of that cloud over there. It looks like we're heading towards it as well. Just to stop myself from getting absolutely so. It's 
I don't, I don't, I don't understand this either. Where you enter from a, a like a gas station onto the fast lane, it just dumbfounds me. That that truck obviously had had to try and build up speed before he, you know, joined. Although he's built up speed now, so I'm not one hundred percent sure that I'm going to have to overtake him. And that is something else, that grey car just undertook me. I actually thought he was going to overtake me there, but uh, it looks like not. it's not the case. He's now just sitting almost in my blind spot. Yeah, that's what I was frightened of. I'm gonna have to come off here. Alright dude, come on, make a decision. Make a decision. There we go. Looks like our friends go in the same direction. A nice looking trailer. Looks like it's got a graphic on it. I don't know if it's wheat or props of some kind. Nice sleeper cab as well. I've really started noticing a lot of American trucks now, all the customizations that, that drivers can do and companies can do. It's just amazing. Alright, it looks like we're not far from destination. Oh, I can do with the uh, putting some fuel in this as well. McAllister, beautiful. And we're not having to go too far into town either, which is even better. A uh, pop car there. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going into Hitachi. I think that's how you call it, Hitachi. We used to make, like, VCRs and... Let's see where they went this trailer dropped off. Not too bad for time. Alright, let me just... Stop here, as the sign says, and find out what's happening. Right, okay. So we are just up here on the right hand side next to the bulldozers. And I didn't say there was a particular way he wanted me to park up. I'm just going to stop it here just now and see if this is where the guys want me to want me to stop. Engine off, and I'm going to get this unloaded. So I'll catch you once we are done. Right, so that's the load dropped off. I'm just uh, having a quick break, a quick bit of stretch of legs, a bit of fresh air, and uh, see what happens next. Hi Mark, how are you doing? Hi Mac, listen, we have a bit of an emergency situation here. One of our drivers was robbed in McAllister. Wait, what? He's okay, but very shaken up. Could you park your truck up in the customer's yard you're at just now? 
Uh -huh. They are happy to look after it. If you get an Uber and head to the stranded truck's position, we need that truck and trailer back as soon as you can. Right, okay. Just let me know where it is. Um, is it okay? Is it is the person caught? The police are on scene, and the scene is secured. There is no danger to yourself. They have done forensics, and the truck has been released back to us. The keys are in the truck, and it's ready to go. Right, okay, Mark. No problem at all. Thanks, Mac. I really appreciate it. Stay safe. Thanks, buddy. Oh my god. Just after me saying that in the last episode. Jeez. Right, okay. Um, right. Okay, I guess I'll go leave the keys in the office and then I'll go and uh, get an Uber. Jeez. Right, so this is a truck. It's uh, one of the new Volvo VNLs and it's a trailer of grain. So it didn't actually happen in here, but the police moved it in here out the out the way because this is where initially it was meant to be picked up from. It. Oh my! Seems like he was driving out of here or the roundabout here somewhere, and uh, the car just pulled out in front of him, stopped him, and wow, that is crazy. Right. Right. Okay. Let's get going and uh, get this back to the depot. I haven't actually driven a Volvo before. A Volvo truck, that is. Right, okay. So, pre-checks have been done. I don't know if that's warning lights that's on the dash. I'll need to... Let them know um, when we get back. Right, okay, jeez. That's kind of put a, a bit of dampener on things, doesn't it? You can immediately feel the difference. to wait for him to move because I'm going to end up block. All right, okay. <laughs> I going to say I'm going to end up. Oh, right, on you go. On you go. You're welcome. All right, I've already made a mistake. I, my mind's all over the place. Like, I genuinely want to get the hell out of here as soon as possible. And where is that one? There's a bit more power in this. I mean, the gearbox, it just, it just goes. There's no thinking about it. There's no changing different gears and things like that. This, I, I actually like this truck. Right, let's get the cruise control on. Where the uh, ah right okay, it, it, like different dashboards. See how things are becoming electronic now. Like years and years ago, and this is me going to show my age now. Like like. Years and years ago, the, you know, the dials were roughly in the same place and you knew what you were looking for. But with the digital dash, like, you can move all the dials. Not so much on this one, but in, in certain cars and things, you can move the dash, the, the dials and 
oh, I left my sat nav in the truck. Oh, well, okay. I dare say they'll be picking the truck up at some point in the near future anyway, so we'll we'll all get the bag. I mean, luckily this truck's got a sat nav and it. it's a really nice truck. A nice sound to it as well. And it is a day cab still, so I did make sure, now this this goes back to when I was hauling grain um, in the last episode, where you need the certificate of, of the grain, which is graded. So I have that certificate here with me, and I have all the, um, what do you call it, the delivery notes, etc. So that's... Uh, that's all good. I noticed that a lot of the trucks around, certainly around Oklahoma, but obviously I haven't been too far elsewhere, but they don't have like rear fenders. Like, if it gets wet, it just sprays up into the air. Uh, I think they're now called, in the UK, I think they're called spray suppressants or something. They're basically mud guards, old school titles. So, wow, I am still in shock. I genuinely don't know what to say. The poor truck driver. I mean, that that could put you off for life. Like you, you, you might never get back in a truck again. Yeah, so I, I guess, you know, the iPhone, find my iPhone. Oh, it's another v &L. It's an older model, right enough. Um, yeah, find my iPhone and the GPS and the trucks. I guess that's actually all for a reason. So it is. I know I'm coming up to a turn and I know we're just going back to Oklahoma so um, I'm, I'm just basically going back the way I came but uh, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite I'd say wary um, concerned um, on high alert for any cars and trucks that are passing me just now same scenery, different clouds, <laughs> but um, I'll speak to you when we're closer.
just back of the depot. Just uh, drop this trailer off at the customer. The customer's obviously been made aware of what's happened because they're not going to get their product at the time that it was said. But they're going to get it. So I think a couple of hours late um, in the grand scheme of things is not that bad. I am impressed with this Volvo. This Volvo is um, gearbox is really on point with things. Like it just, even from a standing start, it just it chooses a gear and goes with it. Due some rain by the looks of those horrible clouds over there. Hopefully, I can get it done before. Hopefully, get this trailer off before we uh, finish. Sorry, I'll start that again. Hopefully, we can get the trailer off before the rain starts, is what I was trying to say. Oh, man. You know. I was talking about anxiety earlier on. It's just went to, it's went to like a hundred percent. But I feel a little bit better now. I'm back. I'm gonna say back home. That that's it in a nutshell. Now they, uh, I did phone them and they said to drop it off up this side of the fence. Oh, looks like a good spot. This is obviously where I delivered the uh, grain last time, wasn't it? It was just B5. Hazards on. Wow. Right, okay, that's a bit of a tumultuous... Tumultuous? Tumultuous? Tumult... Uh, I don't know what that word is. Remember um, what I asked at the start, if you can leave a percentage of how you're feeling today in the comments, I would really appreciate that. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and I will catch you in the next one. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.